Hello, Quick Life Tools, and welcome to another free hit episode where we give you a quick and clean update on what's happening in the world of Pakistan cricket. Please remember to follow us on Twitter at Quick Electuals and send us your comments and questions via email at cricketlectuals at gmail.com. So today we'll talk about the progress of the home women's cricket series in Pakistan, where the Pakistani women are playing or were playing against West Indian women. Next, we'll talk about the T20 World Cup final match. Pakistan's upcoming series in Bangladesh and Muhammad Hafiz relinquishing his spot in the team and the upcoming Champions Trophy breaking news announcement that was just made today. Let's start with the hottest news of the moment, the World Cup final. The final was played between Australia and New Zealand. It was a great game of cricket. Australia achieved a convincing victory. You know, Australia and England play a very similar brand of cricket. It's aggressive, it's fearless. It's always about pressure. They keep pressure on the opponents at all times. And Australia played this kind of cricket against Pakistan in the semifinal and won after having lost five of their top batsmen. And earlier this week, in the final against New Zealand, they played very similarly, but even better. Partly because they were just in their element and partly because the New Zealand bowling, as I've said before throughout the tournament, is just not where it needs to be to fend off good sides like Australia or Pakistan. But their bowling has still been stronger than their batting in this tournament, and they just didn't set a big enough total. The captain, Kane Williamson, played a great knock of 85 and 48 balls, 10 fours, 3 sixes. And it was pretty much his effort alone kind of that brought the total to a respectable but insufficient 172, which was four less runs than what Pakistan had set as a target for Australia. Australia came to bat, only lost two wickets, and won the game in the 19th over. So this game really played out very similarly to the Pakistan-Australia semifinal. In both games, Australia were the aggressors and just didn't let go of that approach. It's just amazing. When other teams lose wickets, they slow down right away, put their foot on the brake. You know, they get into damage control mode, but the Aussies don't. They kept playing their shots immediately after losing wickets. They didn't slow down. Warner scored a 50, Marsh a 77, and they steered Australia well to earn the trophy. They deserved it. They played really well when it mattered most, and they played really brave cricket. Warner was also declared the man of the tournament, which did elicit a lot of debate online, especially from the Pakistani crowd, because many of us, the Pakistani fans, believed Bobbers should have gotten it, Bobber scored more runs, no doubt, but that's not all that should be considered. So I don't really agree with the complaining. I do feel Warner was a better candidate for the player of the tournament. Uh, Let us know what you guys think. I just think a player with important match-winning innings should get this award. And Warner, in my view, played more innings that were impactful uh, for his country and his cricket team. And he played these when Australia needed him most. So... I'm happy with the selection. Bobber's still great, fantastic, the number one player in the world. And that's good enough for the tournament. Warner can get it, and that's fine. So T20 World Cup is behind us now. What are we going to do now? Have no fear. There's no break, and cricket continues. First up, Pakistani women lost their third home game to West Indian women. In their third, ODI Pakistan batted first and set a target of 226. West Indians achieved it in 44 overs. Ouch. I have to say Pakistan has been outclassed by West Indian women in all three games every single time. It's not looking good. Uh, The batting in the Pakistani squad is the main concern. They're scoring at a very slow rate. I feel like I said the same thing about the men's team, but it's true. Watching the Pakistani batting in this game was like watching test cricket until Iram Javed arrived. She scored at a bearable pace and she's the only one I can say who played this game kind of like an ODI so they really have to pick up the pace they have to start setting targets in the 275 plus range in the first ODI they scored 208 while chasing and lost in the second they were all out at 116 and in the third they scored 225 it's just not enough in a 50 over game especially in subcontinent conditions so this is a big home series defeat We need to go back to the drawing board, and I'm sure they will, and they will come back stronger from this. There was a lot to learn from this series. Next up for them um, is the World Cup qualifier in Zimbabwe. Nida Dar, the all-rounder who missed the West Indies series due to her father's death, is in the squad now for the qualifiers. So good luck to Pakistan women's cricket. Pakistan men's team has started to gather in Bangladesh for their T20 and Test series, starting with T20s on the 19th. 
Bangladesh had a poor showing in the World Cup, as you all know, but they do have a very strong record at home. I think the games will be fun. Interesting thing is Professor's announcement. So Muhammad Hafiz didn't really announce an outright retirement, but he said he wants to offer his spot on the team to some youngsters for the Bangladesh tour. Uh, is that an indication of what's coming in the form of a possible retirement from the champ? Probably, but you know, these things take time and Hafiz has the right to take as much time as he needs to make the formal final announcement. And we'll wait for that. Let's see what happens after the Bangla series. As far as the result of the series is concerned or predictions, we're predicting that Pakistan will win both the T20s and the tests. But as you all know, and as we've seen in the semifinal, anything can happen in cricket on the day. So may the best team win. We'll cover all the games here on Crick Lectuals. So be sure to subscribe to the podcast and follow us on Crick Lectuals on Twitter. Lastly, we have news that just broke about the next Champions Trophy tournament scheduled to take place in 2025. Great news from Pakistan once again because they will be hosting this tournament as well as Asia Cup. Uh, This is fantastic news. Two international level global events coming to Pakistan is just great news. And that's all for this free hit, friends. This is your host, Jay, signing off. Peace. Peace.